Leo Cancer and welcome to your full moon in Leo general tarot reading this full moon happening on the 25th of January is going to be focusing on your second house of your money positions values so um, you definitely can be focused on making more money or uh, things that you can create with added value or even recognizing your personal worth right in um in your space maybe even create maybe even in indulge in luxurious streets um i don't know maybe you will discover breakthroughs in earning more um, and having more potential in that space and uh, uh, and discovering the financial gains or even a cycle can be closed and you're, you might be paid for a project or some work that you have been doing. So let's see what the tarot deck has for you. And then we're going to uh, draw the Goddess Power Oracle. And the main card for you is the Hanged Man. Yes, definitely changing your perspective in an area, right? You might even discover that you might, you might need to sacrifice a bit of time of attention to really understanding how things sit right and because this is about your second house you might be even taking some time out to clarify how you have been engaging with some material things in your life maybe you're going to need to look again at one of your contracts maybe even need to be reviewing the way that you've been um, engaging in give and take um, relationships right maybe this is the right time for you to recognize the fact that you have been sacrificing yourself and this is a moment that you need to take stock and allow things to happen and see where things fall right but this is definitely a time for you to look at and to understand that you need to see things from all perspectives and that's when it's going to click for you how you can uh, reassess your your personal worth so it's going to be clarified for you right now where you sit in relationships with others, where, where your worth is, what your value is, and how much you need to cherish yourself or how much you need to cherish others. This is going to be clarified for you. Let's see what the clarifying cards are for, uh, for this hanged man for you, Cancers, at the new moon in Leo. I feel like... This is definitely going to be that aha moment. It's like, you know what? I haven't actually been charging as much for my services or I haven't been actually asking how much I truly worth from the others. I've been giving without receiving back um, for a long time. So maybe it's time for you to sit back and, and watch others how they are behaving. Let's see what the clarifying cards are. The three of pentacles, the chariot card and the ace of wands. So it's important here to understand that the change of perspective is definitely um, making you look at your collaborations. So if you have collaborated with someone, you, you will be um, look standing back now and see if you have received the true value of your work, of your engagement, of, an, of your enthusiasm, of your energy. This is going to <clears throat> make you ask yourself and others, have we um, negotiated this on, on terms that are, are okay for everyone? And this is not only going to help you realize where uh, where you sit but this is also going to bring in that feeling of recognition of your own value the chariot card is very aware of his skills it, it, uh, this is about someone that is really really in control of his skills of his uh, expertise it's definitely someone that is is a winner it has all of the advantages and all of the uh, the tools that he needs in order to proceed but the fact that he is externally prepared doesn't mean that his heart is convinced that he can do the journey he can do the task it can complete the work it can complete the journey it can deliver what it promised so this is definitely going to help you the the changing of perspective the changing of the way that you 
look at things and you see things is going to help you clarify the balance and heal the balance within yourself to unlock a completely new level of confidence cancers i feel like this is a completely other type of energy that is coming through for you and this energy is going to um, help you to make a decision for a new beginning or a new type of energy that you bring to the table so if, if it's, it's if it's um if it's talking about like old sort of partnerships or relationship you're going to come in with this completely new drive new energy and a way to impose your will like in a really positive way not not like asking more than you deserve but really being assertive and being true to yourself and being true to your vision this is something that can can uh, bear fruit in the long term so you're really going to come in with a different sort of level of energy and if it's a new beginning it's something that you truly see happening and you want to follow you want to pursue it. Um, and i really feel like this is a beautiful beautiful example of how allowing yourself to step out of a situation and observe it is going to give you the specific answers to questions of self-worth to questions of how have you allowed others to treat you um in uh, in in a form or another and how you can fix that fix that by your um base level of self-confidence starting from your inside and really is going to show up on the outside right it's going to give you that confidence that is going to glow through um if and and others are going to just see this amazing shift in you this amazing shift in in confidence so i really love love this for you uh cancer so let's see what the goddess power oracle has for you wow the past right so how has the past influenced you right we all have um a shell that is built based on the reactiveness to the external environment so the armor is based on the knowledge of past events right so all of our perception of the present are based on um on lessons learned from the past but you have to allow yourself to be flexible for your future because you need to ask yourself where has the past helped develop your 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 current perception your current attitude your current persona and how has the past stop you from engaging um, in a much more confident way so you have to unpick those lessons you have to observe those lessons from the past and allow yourself to think outside the box of it allow yourself to understand that you have some skills based on past experience that can be translated into new opportunities right so you don't have to like guard yourself from the past so fiercely that you are holding yourself back from the future so i really hope that made sense for you um cancers this is really really a powerful message that is coming through that is is asking you to um, remove yourself from a situation to allow the distance to build that clarity in your in, in your self-worth and from there the confidence is going to push you forward to a much more positive future so thank you so much for being here and i hope to see you soon take care